From a kneeling position, we can work on Sarah's forearm extensors again. These feel a little bit open from what we did previously, but I wanted to traction her palm and fingers from this position. You can see that as I vary this, it's gonna pull in a slightly different motion through her shoulder and her upper back. If I wanna accentuate that, I can grab through the fingers and above the wrist and ask her for feedback if she wants a posterior pull or an anterior pull. Both feel good. Or straight down. And the posterior, I feel it more kind of in my palm. Yeah. And then the anterior, now, I feel it more in my dome. If I roll you open, Ooh, nice. it accentuates even more, right? Yep. So just like we talked about variables, I could pull this way and I could keep this basic position through that entire range. But if I roll her open, it starts to change what we're working on. Then I can start to work through this fan line on the thumb right here. I'm always using movement and mobility in my sessions based on what feels good to the person I'm working on. You'll see that I'm gently using her arm to lift her head and I can lift her and sort of pull her back into a neutral position so I can go back to the fingers and hand. This is extremely versatile work and I think mat work is lots of fun. There's a lot more capacity to move around. It's not as intense on my hands and I think it's extremely relaxing as a receiver.